Here's another example of finding a marginal distribution. This time, however, we're going to be finding the marginal distribution of x rather than the marginal distribution of y. The random variables x and y are uniformly distributed over the portion of the interior of the unit circle centered at the origin that lies in the first quadrant. Find the marginal distribution of x. Start with a picture. Here is x and here is y. The portion of the unit circle that lies in the first quadrant is given right here. So that is script A and that is the support of the random variables x and y. Now x and y have to be continuous because they're uniformly distributed over this region but we don't know what the joint probability density function is yet so let's start into that. The entire unit circle has area pi r squared and because it's a unit circle the radius is 1 so the entire circle here has area pi which means that the area here must be pi over 4. Now the problem states that x and y are uniformly distributed which means they're equally likely to be anywhere in this script A region here. Because of that what we can do is we can write the joint probability density function f of x y as the appropriate number such that we have a total volume underneath the probability density function over the support of 1. Well if the area here is pi over 4 then if this is a the only number that could be put in here would be 4 over pi to make the uh, joint probability density function integrate to 1 over its support. So the support here will be x greater than 0, y greater than 0, that puts us in the first quadrant, then we also want to indicate that x squared plus y squared is less than 1 and that is the easiest way to write our support script A here. Now we want the marginal distribution for x so what we're looking for here is f sub x of lowercase x. And the way that is done is you integrate out y. So from minus infinity to infinity of the joint probability density function f of x y dy. y is what we're trying to integrate out. So this will be the integral of the joint density which is 4 over pi dy and now we want to figure out the limits. Because we're integrating with respect to y you will have an upper and a lower limit that looks like this. We'll start with the easy one. The lower limit here is the x-axis which is the same as saying y equals 0. The upper limit will be the circle and you know that the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. When you solve that for y you get y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the limits run from 0 to the square root of 1 minus x squared and 4 over pi integrates to 4y over pi. That gets evaluated from 0 to the square root of 1 minus x squared and so that turns out to be 4 times the square root of 1 minus x squared divided by pi minus 0. The last step is what are the allowable values of x if you are collapsing this density here down to the x-axis. Think of that as putting a flashlight way up high and shining it down 
x will lie between 0 and 1. And there is the joint probability, I'm sorry, not the joint, the uh, marginal probability density function of x.